to keep those aisles clear, but you can get up and stretch during our 15 minute intermission. And be sure to visit our theater boosters table below. And we'll have refreshments and snacks on sale for concessions. But you better make sure you finish those before the show starts back up or else. Oh my god, Serena, don't threaten them. We need to end on a happy note. Oh, I, I mean, thanks so much for coming. We hope you enjoy the show.
It just came out, and it's perfect for a blonde. Yeah, with a half loop stitch on China silk. <laughs> but the thing is, you can't use a half loop stitch on China silk. It'll pucker. And, and you didn't just get this in, because I saw it in last week's book. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, you guys! You might about to buy last year's dress at this year's prize. Hell, stop right through that sales girl's lies. It's gonna be perfect for a blonde, but I'm not that blonde. I'm gonna be in love with that stupid lady. I've got a Serious, 
Somebody class you're not too daddy. Hey, that came out wrong. Baby, let's both be strong. I mean, we know no My future's all playing. I've got some dreams to make true. I thought you'd understand. It's time to get serious. It's time to get serious. Check, please.
right when you can stay right here, pursue a film career. This morning, there's no film studios. It's cold and dark, no valet parking. All the girls has different noses, right? But it's like the damn frontier. Tell me what's out there that you can get right here. Guys, I'm doing this for
woods, you can't just barge in here with singing and dancing and youthful movement. <laughs> this is a very flashy presentation, but I still don't see one reason to admit you. Have you ever been in love? Because if you have, you'll know that love never accepts a defeat. No challenge it can't meet, no place it cannot go. Don't say no to a woman in love. No man when I say love, no man that I lie. Share a bit about yourselves. Aaron Schultz. I'm on the Fulbright and the road. I'm a financial software coach. But that's a challenge I not grown. How many yachts can one man own? Some say that I'm a pompous creep. Somehow I don't lose that much sleep. Why bother with false modesty? Harvard's the perfect place for me. Pretty impressive, good to know. Welcome to Harvard. What's up? Yep. Sandeep Hagrawal Padamadan, but you may call me Your Majesty. In my country, my word was law, but then I flee. Because a stupid coup d'etat, but here I learn, I may. Dog. Bruiser's family. It, it, it's fine. I'll drop him off there, anyways. 
can't be much happier. Bruiser loves Glee. See you later. <laughs> academic roster. Miss Wood! Someone 
once has their morning coffee. Would you summarize the case of State of Indiana v. Hearn from your sign reading? Oh, I wanted to answer the puppy question. <laughs> but I asked you about the assigned reading. <laughs> okay. Who signs over on the first day of class, right? <laughs> <laughs> You've got guts, Miss Woods. Miss Kensington, let us say you teach a class at Harvard Law School. A position that you're just a proud about. But a girl on whom you call hasn't read the case at all. Should you let it go or... No, I throw her out. Huh. All right, then. You urge your class. You have just been killed. She cuts your throat, so grab your coat. Guess you've got guts, but now there's still torn. First year too. Trust me, it sucks. But your law career is not over. Law career, so not the problem. Listen, I need to get back into class with Warner. Can you help me? Uh, sure. Just make sure you come back to me tomorrow and make sure you've done your reading. Okay. Excuse me. Why would you do that to another girl? Do what? We girls have to stick together. We should try to look good by making each other look bad. I didn't make you look bad. You just weren't prepared. Try opening a law book, but I should warn you, it doesn't come with pictures. Alrighty, I'll just leave you late. Oh, then. <laughs> Aren't there girls going wild somewhere without you? Hey, oh. Warner, you're right on time. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about what? Warner, is there something you'd like to share with Elle? Do you know her? <laughs> yeah, well, Vivian and I went to boarding school together, and, well, she's my girlfriend now. I'm sorry, could you say that one more time? I think I hallucinated. Jesus. He said I'm his girlfriend. Girlfriend? Ah! Margo, this is the reason why. What's going on? Well, this is a tragedy. And every tragedy needs a Greek chorus. Greek chorus. <laughs> Elf, we are here to help. Oh, we're not really here, here. We're just in your head. Honey, what you cry, you nut. Nothing can do that. Both her hair and shoes are flat. And why is she so brutal? Wipe your tears and no big thing. You were meant to wear a ring. You're a big time to break. A happy attitude. Keep it positive. And crack her to the floor. Keep it positive. As you pour her and pour more. You can take her in a fight. You and me will reunite. You know we're right. We're positive. Girls, 
Oblivion. Hello, L. Maybe that guy you like will be here. You should go. Definitely come. It's a costume party. Oh, I love costume parties. Of course you do. Next Friday at H two four three Mass Avenue. See you there. Oh, thanks, Vivian. Oh, you are so far away. Right? My secret weapon costume. I'll just get it out of storage and dust off the moth balls. But wait till you see it. Because if a girl like you can't win back her man, there is no hope for the rest of us. Thank you so much for talking me on the ledge, Paula. I needed this. <laughs> Well, 
Excuse me? I put my feet in love. I followed where it led. Love led you here. To my personal circle of hell. It has not worked out well. I wish that I were dead. Because instead of wedding and love, I'm fucking out of school. The total laughing stuff. But when he and his friends get just smoke, so Lord, here's my head. Just remember the wrong way. You came out here to follow a man. Harvard Law was just part of that plan. Man, what rich, romantic planet are you from? Malibu. <laughs> Instead of lying outside by the pool, you stalk some guy to an Ivy League school. That's the weirdest reason I have. Well, I did I grew up in the Roxbury slums With my mom and a series of bums Guys who showed me all the ways a man can fail I got through law school by busting my ass Worked two jobs in addition to class So forgive me for not leaving at your tail Just because you have some type of chip on your soul, right? You know what? You're right There's a chip on my shoulder And it's big as a boulder Chance I've been given, I gotta be driven to sell. I'm so close I can taste it, so I'm not gonna waste it. Yeah, there's a chip on my shoulder. You might wanna get one as well. I'm sorry, but that's not funny. Hey, I'm just being honest. When you weren't born into privilege, you gotta work twice as hard. And uh, I want that sweatshirt back. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Jobs plus law school? How'd you do it? I haven't slept in seven years. No, seriously, how'd you do it? Well. I don't go to work a lot, not good use of the time that I've got. Can't spend hours doing my hair or saying it. I don't spend hours. But I know it'll all be worthwhile when I win my first lucrative trial and buy my mom that great big house down on the cake. Oh, it's so sweet. No, that stiff on my shoulder. I hugged my mom and told her with the chance I've been given. I gotta be driven in a cell. So I'm not gonna wake it Get a chip on my shoulder Little miss what's come Well, no, I just need to prove to everyone that I'm serious What you need to do is to get to work <laughs> You know what? Make yourself a house Hello, Pink <laughs> You drink a lot of Red Bulls, don't you? Energy! So you can stay up late studying I said studying. You do study, don't you? Where are those law books? Uh, Under the pile of pink stuff. Pink stuff. <laughs> close, close. Like, check the pink drawers. Pink drawers. Drawer one, drawer two, drawer three, drawer four, drawer five. Uh, okay, hamper. Hamper, hamper. Uh, are you sure I can touch these? <laughs> no, don't touch! Not that, not that! Um, <laughs> is there anything anywhere else? I think, I feel like you should keep this room a little more tidy. <laughs> I mean, there gotta be books somewhere. Uh, no pillows. Uh, where would you put your law books? I guess oh, I have in, in your desk, you know? I don't know myself. Look! Right here! You know? Oh. This vanity's real picturesque. It started in its life at a desk. Clear it off and find some room for books and sketch. Can you live without this? Can you live without that? I don't know what this is. It's for here. Wear a hat. Spend some time improving what's inside your head. Out, out, put it in store and sell it on eBay, leave it behind. Out, out, what are you angry? Good, don't get angry. You may find a chip on your shoulder. The room just got colder, but with the chance you've been given, why are you not driven a cell? There's just no way around it. You gotta plow through till you find it. Uh, been reading it hard, I can tell.
What is this? My second? My third? I don't know, but I love it! Define malum prohibitum. Malum prohibitum is... An act prohibited by... An act prohibited by law, like jaywalk, chewing gum in Singapore. Therefore, malum and say... Malum and say is an action. That's evil in itself. Like assault, murder, white shoes after Labor Day. Good. <laughs> Where are you going? Home, of course. It's Thanksgiving break. Interesting. What? Well, I predict you will probably pass in the bottom percent of your class. What? If you're going for mediocre, you've done great. That's not fair. And look, they laugh at me like they're laughing at you. We can't win if we don't follow through. But adventure, your vacation plans can wait. Why do you always have to be right? Why do you always have to be right? Russell B. Sullivan proved that the defendant was the father of the child, even though he was just a sperm donor. Gold star! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, of Edit, of me, Paula. Paula? Edit! Hi. Hi there. For you. Not quite as good as going home for Christmas, but. Oh, you're too sweet. It's, it's a real time saver. Shampoo and conditioner in one. down to 40, maybe less. Though it's hardly my business to say, could it be the real thing in your way? Is the very guy you're trying to impress? Yes. I've been smiling and sweet and furry, feet and blowing my chance. Let's not trace them away. Let's face them and say, hey, but let's dance. Gotta be driven it down. 
was something to see there. I'm just happy I could be there. Perfect touch and she cases. She's so close she can take it. She got a chip on the shoulder. Guess you never can. Love me again. 
Clyde Brook, do not change me time for DVDs and book with your great heart. Happily married, so she swears, her 60 year old stud, her stepdaughter came downstairs, found Brook all covered in his blood. If Brook took a plea, I'd have her out and through the floor, but she claims she did not kill this. Let's watch some more. It's an offensive weapon to oh. simply wrap it around your assailant's neck and pull till he turns blue. Oh. You can all hand to hand rip to shatter your attacker's spine oh. and all for three small tickets. Okay, now here is where you kids come in. Brooke is trouble, trust me. I'm her only chance to win, but I don't speak MTV. Go, Brooke, one help her own defense. She may listen to her peers. Go and place a little sense in the space between. Oh, not now. I want her wit into shape. If there's a brain in that hair, tell it that I am the key. It's the plea or the chair. See, when I talk to her, I can neither plea nor plan nor alibi to quote from our defendants. I want her wit into shape. To the jail. Because we're at Boston Women's Correctional Facility does not mean we can't become the best that we can be. Yeah! Here we go. Circle, circle, under, over, through, around. Again. Circle, circle, under, over, through, around. Go ahead. Circle, circle, under, over, through, around. You can't break out of here, so you might as well break a sweat. Left, right. Bond 
is strong as crazy glue. Hoo-hoo, who can sound the gong when sister will come through? Never less 
think of the people you want to impress. Swallow your pride for me, just not this. Unprepared. I think it's love. Exactly. Here you become what you're supposed to be. You think you can, but you can't. Think of the God you're supposed to be. There's a chance to make it. So take it like a man. What is fault? Not really sure. Why can't we leave things the way that they were? Why did I never say no to her? What's that smell? Subtext by Calvin Klein. That kind of me. I swear that we'd be up on my street. Still I've come this far. I can't retreat in my shell. I'm in the hands of them. What the hell?
to offer.
my god, Emmett, is that you? Oh, it took me shopping. Emmett, you look sharp. Ooh, chalk one up for L. On day three of the Brooke Whitman Burger Trial, DA Joyce Riley has been grilling Nico's Argy Tacos, Ms. Whitman's Pool Boy, all morning. The waters could get dicey. Let's hope that it then pack their floaties. Katie? Which is why you should clarify to the court exactly what your duties were as the pool boy. Cleaning the pool. So, Mr. R.G. Tacos, could you explain what Exhibit A is? <laughs> that was my uniform. And was it Brooks' idea for you to wear this? Uniform? Yes, she did make the really uniform. And could you explain your relationship to the defendant? Broken our lovers! <laughs> no further questions, Your Honor. She was your lover? No, a Delta would never be with a man in a thong. I just like to watch him clean the pool filters. Unbelievable. You're all making me look like a moron. Your Honor, I request a 10 minute recess. Oh, sorry, I'll take this outside. Unbelievable. How can I not know about this mess? It's setback. It's motive, Emmett. Paulette, what's up? Hi, I just had to call and thank you. The bed and staff totally worked. I may have broken tiles, but I got to spend four and a half hours in an ambulance and emergency room, and it was the most romantic time of my entire life. Oh, Paulette, that's just wonderful. I told you the bed and staff isn't unless the guy is gay or some. Oh, God. I have to be right back, okay? So 
I have an idea I'd like to try. The floor is yours. So, Mr. Arjitakos, this alleged affair with Miss Wyndham has been going on for two years. And your first name again is Nikos. And your boyfriend's name is Carlos. <laughs> I misunderstand. I thought you said best friend, not boyfriend. My best friend is Carlos. You bastard! You always bastard! I'm not going to work with him no more! People! I have a big announcement! This man is getting angry! What do you think he calls it, kids?
this intern of the year. Thanks for your help and for all you've done. Thank you for treating me decently. What's wrong? Maybe someday you can visit me. Give me a call, say hello. Wait, where are you going? Sorry I'm letting down everyone. What wrong? You did your best with the hopeless game. That's ludicrous. You are the best thing about this place. No, you should know. He had a hand hit on me. He what? He kissed me. He fired me. He made it clear I don't belong. He's wrong. No, no reason. Please buddy. stop. There's no reason for me to stay. What about love? I never mentioned love. The timing's bad, I know. But perhaps if I made it more clear that you belong right here, you wouldn't have to go. Cause you know that I'm so much better.
for? Brendan. <laughs>
I'll allow it, Miss Woods.
Who taught me how to feel? Who taught me to prevail?